Hello guys, Welsh from Welsh Tech. This is me doing another video. This is I'm gonna show you uh, cleaning tips or how I clean my personal computer. Um, I've got my front dust filter here, which you can probably see from by there. See, look, it's got some dust build up. All I use is an old, or uh, well, particularly new. It was new at one point. Uh, mascara brush or whatever the bloody women use. I am gonna clue. But I use one of these, and all you do is this, you know. Just get into those little nooks and crannies. Ooh, these little nooks and crannies. Yes. Perfect. Back to the way it was. Lovely. All you gotta do, yeah, I take my front panel off. All you gotta do is this. Just, you know, stuff like this. Now, that's done. My one's done now. So, what I'm going to do is bring you around, I'm going to show you what I do with my front fans, now... Right, okay, here we go, let me just, sorry about this, I need to adjust, that's all. Come on, that's it, right, there we go. There we go, that'll do, lovely, right. Now what I do is take the back panel off. Back panel off. Just oh, if anyone wants a an iFixit um pro tool set, uh, there's going to be an affiliate code at the bottom. Uh, it's ten pound cheaper on Amazon. So if you want that, go for it. This is what I'm going to show you now of how I do it. I just take the fans out like this. No need for a ratchet screwdriver as a line as tech tips. No, no need. Even though I have got ratchet screwdriver sets, I mean they do they are very handy and useful. But you know, oh well let's stuff it. This is probably where it would come in handy right now. Oh well, isn't it? That's all I can say. Right. Sorry about the ground. I am a man at the end of the day and do yes men do bloody ground, okay? Right, so now yeah, that's plugged in right now, but oh well. Yeah, dust builder but isn't that bad. So I mean all I do is this, I just go in the middle, just like that, onto the fins. Now, I don't spray, like, uh, deodorants or anything in there because uh, there's, a, there's a risk of uh, the deodorants or any type of, like, aftershaves you spray. There's a, there is a, a problem with the actual uh, spray going into the bearings and stuff in there. And after a while, they get sticky and they stick up. And also, uh, you get this residue on the fans, which does attract the dust, and that's when it starts... Buggering up your dust, uh, your, your fans, so. Right. Whoop, just leave it hanging below, no wonder. So, you just go like this in the case, you just go boom, 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 boom. Now, luckily for me, my whole case is actually filtered, so I am going to do all this, but this is me just showing you, I mean, my hard drive burr is a little bit dusty. always do that as well that actually helps blowing it that uh, no but that, that does actually help right okay that actually does help now <laughs> blowing <laughs> yeah for those adults who are watching this i bet you actually understand what that means cause, yeah i do so yeah all you gonna do is blow it yeah <sighs> yeah so Do, 
I mean, I've got loads of dust filters, but I mean, mo I mean majority of modern cases now have. They've got excellent uh, uh, airflow, and, uh, airflow and stuff. Like, this is a uh, Fantex and through Lux uh, wide edition. Uh, they don't actually make this case anymore, so it's quite rare. I mean, they sell the... Um, the uh, the, the temper glass on it, but I don't like temper glass. I'm too worried just in case I take it off and it smashes everywhere. No, oh, thank you very much. No, no, thank you. Right. Okay. I gotta look at this one. No, oh, this one's about the same. I just, um, yeah, compressed air is I like to use. I mean, but the only problem with compressed air is if you. You've got the, you can't shake the can because if you do, there's a residue that comes outside the can and it sticks everywhere as well as it does affect your performance over time, especially if you use a lot of it. Now me, uh, all you've got to do is you keep it still and you don't go shaking it and stuff because it, it there's a, there's chemicals inside of it which will just start, soon just start spraying again, press the nozzle, it won't be just the compressed air will come out, Is it's the residue as well, which will stick everywhere on your case, and trust me, it's a pain to get off, especially in those little bits, you know, the little areas and stuff that you can't get to with a, you know, with a rag or anything, but yeah, I just do this for my fans now, see, because, I mean, my radiator fans and stuff, they need cleaning, so I mean, I perhaps, you know, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to me to show you what kind of cleaning the methods I use with my radiator, because usually a lot of people do is either compressed air or a can of compressed air. Now me, I don't do that. I do it a different way. Now if you want to know how I do it, make sure you uh, comment below and say, Oh yeah, I'd like to know what you do with it and blah, 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 you know, stuff like that. So, you know, just like this, that's all it is. That's all you do. Just go to gas. Blah. It's like new again. It's mad. It is crazy. And then all all I do then is you just install them back. Okay, so all you do is you grab them. Best thing about I fix it. Magnetic tips. Best thing about it. So you just put it there. Oh, there's one. Whoop. Push that up. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> get it? Push it? No? Don't get it? Oh, sorry. Right. Oh, you. There we go. It's always that first turn, isn't it? When you're trying to get it in. For kids watching this, don't ever repeat that, please, okay? But the majority of my viewers are actually between the age of 25 and 35, so I think you understand that, so it's not so bad. Right? So, yeah. So, now I'm going to install my last fan, which is by you. I hope you can all see what I'm doing right now. Just installing, yeah, I use the Corsair fans. Now, I did have... Corsair fans with my cooler, but I used the case fans that came with this because these are very high flow, very high. But I mean, they go up to like I think it's like 2100 rpm, something like that, and it's ridiculous. I haven't, I haven't got a use for that anymore. I mean, years ago it wouldn't bother me, but now the older I'm getting, I like it nice and silent. So, I mean, there we go, that's done. Right, lovely. Oh, lovely. There we go. Lovely, now that looks actually quite nice. Now, the dust is all gone and everything. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's quite easy to do... Um, Cleaning and stuff. I mean, as long as you regularly do it, I do it regularly each month because 
I'm not always on it playing games and stuff, so I'm not really... When I'm on there, I'm on it for only a couple of hours, so I mean, it's, that's that's nothing really. But if I was constantly on it, 24-7 gaming, you would have to at least clean it once or twice a week, depending... Now, my case is on actually on a desk. It used to be on the floor. When it was on the floor, I used to clean it every week. That's how bad the dust build-up was. It was ridiculous. Now, I've only got to clean it once a month because it's up on top. It's up high, you see? So... Um, that's me showing you how I clean my front filters. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe below. Uh, comment as well. Make sure you comment. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down. I don't really care. It's up to you. Don't care if you like it. If you don't like it, tough. If you do like it, way. But, uh, this is Welshie out.